Good morning! Is that obnoxious? Good morning! Let me try some options. Good morning. 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 Welcome to a day of grace. Potentially, maybe what we're calling this video, I don't know. <gasps> Basically, I have a whole wide open Sunday. So I've decided that today, I just want to do a bunch of good stuff for myself today. Selfish? I'm going to be selfish today. On a Sunday. Sensibly selfish on a sensible Sunday. Okay, so I'm not taking away from the work week at all. God, I wasn't Catholic for that long in my life, but that guilt just gets in, inside your cellular structure and just pulses. Didn't want to start this video talking about Catholic guilt, that's for sure. That's not at all what this video is about. This video is welcome to I'm going to do some nice things for myself and my little ecosystem today. 8.40 in the morning on Sunday. I've already made a run to the store to get oat milk. Just a modern Millennial Crusader going to the store at 8 a.m. on Sunday for oat milk. Because I start my day with greens. Let me show you. AG1. Easy way to start the day. Comprehensive and convenient daily nutrition. Could not describe it better myself. I'm going to make myself some of this while another version of myself tells you a little bit more about it. Perhaps a more well-spoken, slightly cleaner version of myself. Hit it, me. Oh, thanks, me. Were you just talking about AG1? How convenient. So was I, right now, to you. AG1 is a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health. Foundational nutrition supplements raise our baseline health by comprehensively nourishing the whole body. All the way down. Obviously, this fits into my life because post breast cancer, I'd like my baseline health to be as optimal as it can be. 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients in one packet, killing a variety of birds with only a few stones. What does it taste like? Great question, you probably asked. I think it tastes like kind of fruity, but very subtle. Here's what it actually tastes like. They use naturally extracted essences from pineapple core and vanilla beans. Pineapple's a fruit, freaking nailed it. And they never use added sugar or artificial sweeteners. Here's where the information is interesting. Each scoop of AG1 has vitamins and minerals that are optimized to help with whole body health, including gut, brain, and immune system. As a former absolutely tragic gut girl, I am so happy to be in the good girl gut club and this is definitely keeping me on track oh you can also level up your ag1 experience with vitamin d3 plus k2 can you see it can you see it can you see it vitamin d plays an essential role in supporting the body's immune system and it's much more effective when it's in oil form Learn something new. Which I just learned supports the cardiovascular system by encouraging circulation, supports normal functioning of the immune system, helps support bone density, and its highly concentrated formula is designed to be easily absorbable. If you are interested in trying AG1, I hope you are. Click the link in the description and you will get a free year supply of AG vitamin D3 plus K2. <gasps> plus five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. What are you waiting for? Click the link. Now back to me. Can you see ya? Can you see ya? Can you see ya? <sighs> Yum. Green juice, you know, sometimes can taste. Oh no. But this tastes. Yeah. And you know, you just get that like arrogant feeling of doing something good for yourself. Yeah. God, I could float on that for the rest of the day alone, but we're gonna do some good stuff today. Just like that, I have 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients in my body. What do you have to say for 8.30 a.m. on a Sunday? Yeah, there goes the ego. Now let's make the other green juice I have every morning. Now it's time for matcha. I stopped drinking coffee during my breast cancer treatment because the caffeine was just too much, but I still wanted a little bit of caffeine, so I started drinking this matcha latte mix that I just get on Amazon, and I love it. So this is like my everyday morning caffeine source. Let's have some more green powders. I'm actually just gonna use the AG1 
mixer to mix it up because my milk frother broke the other day. Oh, talk about chaotic eclipse energy. Not the milk frother. This video might make you hate me, I realized. <laughs> this is like a big adult bottle. Oh God. Boom, matcha latte. Yum, that's so pleasant. So, lovely to see you here. The next thing that we have on tap for today, day of grace, is we're gonna exercise now. I don't know if you know this about me right now, but I'm in the process of becoming a beast. Yeah, breast cancer treatment does not do nice things to your body. I was like Gumby before the treatment started. Afterwards, I was like, if Gumby sat in a hot room and like, kind of melted. A lot of doctors and nurses were like, you know, exercise where you can, when you can, if you can. Um, I didn't do that. I sat like this. So much so that at one point at the end of last year, I was like getting in the shower and I turned to look at my profile of my butt and my butt was flat, literally cartoonishly flat. Elliot introduced me to this workout program called Beast Body. It is quite a cringy name. Created and hosted by this guy that's very much like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but not. And he teaches you how to become a beast. So I've been doing this program for over a month now, and I have some muscles going, which is wild. I've never had muscles in my arms like I currently have. So today we're doing our beast body program, and today is back. But this has been so fun to get muscles. I don't feel like I'm supposed to have muscles, so I feel like I'm doing something scandalous by developing muscles. I don't know that I've ever thought of I would end up posting a video in which I genuinely work out in it. Cool. Look at this hair, hair update. It's growing. Where are you here? It's growing, which is great, but now it's growing in about 17 different uh, lengths. Look at that. Back, we have these little guys. What a symphony of lengths. Like I fell asleep at a slumber party and someone went snip snip, but not bad, can't complain. It's just gonna be weird for a while, aren't we all? They're looking pretty curly, aren't they? Look at these wings. This would be a good year to get into hats. That doesn't look too bad. What does the back look like? I can't even see. Let's see. That doesn't look too bad, actually. You see all these? Look at these little fun friends coming in. Hair looks a little crazy. I had a hat on and I took it off. Just took her for a walk, which was awesome because she's been sick and we had to take her to the vet to get x-rays yesterday and she's doing a lot better today she's an ox i'm listening to this is me from the greatest showman because that's apparently my hyper fixation song currently i tend to find a song that i enjoy whether that's seriously or ironically and i'll listen to it on repeat for like days at a time. Anyway, good to see you down there. Uh, we're going to Big Target, our second Target run of the day. Wow, it really is my day. Why are we going to Target? Why not? I'm a 38 year old white woman. Like it's law that I have to go at least once a week or they don't let me back in anymore. And I don't get to stock up on sensible home decor to fill a gaping hole in my soul. I have been wanting to do some gardening. And by gardening, I mean, I have a ton of potted plants that I have 
completely neglected. They desperately need to be repotted and kind of zhuzhed up. So we're going to Target to get some potting soil because I didn't feel like doing Home Depot on a Sunday. We're going to Target to get some potting soil and then we're gonna garden. I use that term very loosely. Successful Target trip. We have potting soil. They did not have a milk frother. I don't want to say it's ruined my day. I'll forget. I'll forget about it pretty, I'll forget almost instantly. For anyone wondering, this is how the toilet is four years later. Struggling, but still going, aren't we all? This is our little side area that needs some love because I put all the plants over here. During the hurricane, I put them all against the house and then just really forgot about them. I've been watered by all the rain that's happened in LA, but they need to be replanted and cleaned up and much to do. Okay. Wow. This is quite a look. Hello. Welcome to Gardening with Grace. <gasps> you see what I'm doing here? You see this thing? What? Who is she? I don't know, but I'm testing this to see if it works. If it does, wow. If it doesn't, that's kind of expected. Like most of the projects that I do, I haven't thought through this part of it. The part that I was really confident in was gardening. Guess I'm just gonna get my pots of plants. We're just going with the flow, exactly like nature. Loves getting her hands dirty. Not entirely. She bought gloves at Target. Can you hear me in the microphone as I walk this way? That would be so wild if this works. If this does work, I'm gonna lose my mind. Please don't judge me and my awful plant parenting. Ow, this one's out. This one's pointy. A lot of these are succulents because these things are like armadillos. They're gonna make it through the apocalypse. I love this and this is a day for me and I love this. Bigger pot. I used to have a plant. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Look at this aloe plant. Fucking halt. Beast body. I am beast body. I love doing this. This one is in rough shape. All right. Oh, hi, buds. Yes, I have been a terrible neglecting mother. But I'm ready to change my ways. Let's put some gloves on. Which way do they go on? The rubber's for touching. Right? Right? Yeah, that has to be it. I do not think that the gloves would be a tricky part. Please don't eat the soil. Thank you. I'm gonna make this extremely clear. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I have an infinite amount of resources that I could tap into to educate myself before doing this. But am I going to do that? No. I'm just gonna go for it and I'll probably do a lot of things very wrong. I need to get you out of here. Please, please, sweet thing. This is how doctors get babies out of women. This is what you sign up for. This is my day. Ah, excellent. New soil. You got to break up the roots of nature. I love being outside. I love doing things that I'm not entirely comfortable doing. Okay, we did one thing. What a mess. Let's get some water. Woohoo. Yes, sweet angel. Rise from the dead and let you chill for a bit. What's next? Ooh, slides right out. That's what she said. Whoa, wow, wow. Oh, I'm getting better. Or they're just very dead. A lot of these plants I've had for at least four years. So that's some, something. I think you're supposed to break the roots up. I'm pretty sure that's the top gardening tip. Hello, mama. All right, and these plants, I just feel like they're mad at me. I think that's what it, that's what it is. I just feel like they're all very mad at me and they should be, they have an absolute right to be. So I do feel guilt and shame. When do I not? This is how we get them back on track and I will be better. I'm like a much cooler, better person now, guys. So don't worry, I have breast cancer and now I'm better, okay? They can't be that mad at me. It also might seem like I'm whispering a little bit, which is true. <laughs> I never know how much our neighbors can hear. You nice looking, tight looking, right looking beastie. Ooh, yes, beach. Yes, I do realize that showering before this was not entire. Oh, oh, you know, oh, I crunched dirt in my teeth. Ugh. Nice. Okay, balls deep in this soil. Gardeners are reverent and sweet and wholesome. That looks nice and like I do know what I'm doing. Being outdoors is in her blood and she loves it. That is satisfying. Oh shit. <laughs> Whoever thinks I'm not a gardener, I have two watering buckets. I clearly forgot I had one and I bought another one. Nice, man, it feels really nice to be nice to these plants. Whoa, I cut myself. Nice. I am one with all of you. We are blood siblings now. You are really in there a metaphor for the last few years you gotta get out of there i see how nature is a metaphor i see how we can see ourselves in it we're all 
rings of fabric woven in to the blanket of life. So fucking compact, you big girl. You're a big girl. You can do it. Put your back into it. It's crowning. <coughs> it's crowning. Bitch, you're out of your mind. Big Bertha. I feel like I gotta move this fiddle leaf fig tree that has wildly seen better days. Thing to hear. Do I dare? Absolutely reckless right now. Fiddle leaf figs. No one should own them. They're so finicky, but somehow I've had this for six years. Oh man, I'm gonna go for it. Oh, beast. Come on, bitch. Yes. <coughs> it's Grace Day. It's Grace Day! Yes! Let's break up these roots. What? <sighs> you can do hard things. Oh, here comes Elliot. Hello, doing great. I just moved this by myself to a new pot. Oh, careful. Yeah, no, I, I did it well and easily. Okay. Nope. No, it's now hours later, and it is not perfect, but it is a vast improvement. And I've been out here for a couple hours without my phone and without a camera, and honestly, I get it. It was really nice. I get it. It was pleasing, and pleasant, and beautiful, and nurturing, and just nice. Really proud of myself. That was a lot of good work. I have a blister. didn't get to you. I'm so sorry. And as soon as I stopped filming, I found a fuck ton of gardening tools. I bought a bunch of gardening stuff before cancer treatment started because I thought I'd get really into gardening during that, and I didn't. But I found them, so that's nice. Let's see if the other friend I found out here is still here. Big boy, there you are. Look at this bitch. Found him. What the fuck? Oh, look, outfit change, because I got dirty. Next up on Day of Grace activities is... This one's getting a bath. She does not let me dry her off after a bath. So I have to put towels down everywhere and she dries herself off. God, okay, we got a bath. She came outside and wanted to go outside like she really had to pee. So I went outside and followed her and she just started rolling around in the dirt in the backyard. That's how she dries herself off. Who said it's, it's a day of grace? <laughs> Respect that. All right, Day of Grace continues. This is non-sponsored because AG1 is already sponsoring this video, but we just got new HelloFreshes delivered today. So we are making, and I don't even remember ordering this, but I can see how I definitely ordered this. Loaded beef chili baked potato bar. I'm, it's a day of grace. How else are you celebrating a day of grace if you're not filling yourself with farts? Because I'm in the phase of my life where I can choose to give myself diarrhea and I don't have to suffer through it as an involuntary side effect. Growth. Hi. Oh, that's cute. What's up? So what is a day of grace? I think it's really more so just a day that I'm not staring at my phone all day. That's been really nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah. It is Sunday, the Lord's Day, so it is only right that we eat loaded chili baked potatoes like they did at the Last Supper. The photo says to wrap them all individually. Seven to eight minutes, okay. And maybe you're thinking to yourself, for like a day of grace, wouldn't you wanna order out and not worry about cooking? I really like doing this stuff. Just sitting and watching. There's a noise from the microwave. And it like, like they let out one collective silent fart. What the heck is this? For, is this from the garden seg gardening segment earlier? What the heck? It is now lost on me that essentially my day of grace has been me, an adult woman, semi alone in her house, talking out loud to no one all day. That's the fun thing. When you watch people vlogging, really imagine that the reality of what's happening is that they are at home talking to no one. I'm doing it right now. Isn't that absolutely absurd? Thank you. It's best I move on. <laughs> well, damn, that's a cute chili baked potato bar. Look at this absolute pile of filth. It's like nachos, but potatoes instead of tortilla chips. How have I never thought to do this? Day of grace. 
as I sit here with my plate of absolute delicious garbage. Look at this hair. I look like a young, annoying prince. A day of grace is coming to a close. It is 7 p.m. right now. Elliot's finishing up his work soon and he's gonna join me on the couch and we are going to watch TV, I believe, for the rest of the evening. This has been an absolutely lovely day. Thank you for joining me on this day of grace. Um, I hope you enjoyed it in some capacity and or feel inspired to perhaps take a day for yourself. Okay, that's it. I'll see you the next time. I'll see you the next time I make a video. Why does every sign off sound bad? I'll see you guys the next time I pick up this camera. All right, <laughs> I'm chasing that bull. See you next time I make a video. There she is. Sweet little goose.